Let's take a live look at Beirut this morning where smoke is billowing. Lebanese officials say at least seven people were killed there today in an Israeli airstrike. This comes as the IDF warns it has the ability to strike anyone in the Middle East. The region worried about direct retaliation against Iran for Tuesday's missile attacks in Israel. Several countries, including Spain and Japan, are sending military planes to Lebanon today to evacuate citizens. News Nation's Robert Sherman has the latest from Haifa, Israel. Uh, Robert, has Hezbollah responded to the overnight strikes? Well, they have been, Marky, and it has been a rather constant, ever-changing landscape here in the Middle East is the way that I would describe it here. What we have seen here in northern Israel over just this morning, if you look at it over the span of the last few hours, there have been alerts going off all day in different parts of northern Israel. But we were even able to see overnight here, large barrage of rockets being fired by Hezbollah. And we saw the Israeli air defense systems in action trying to knock those rockets down. Uh, this is something that has been ever constant here, including ever since that Iranian strike just a couple of days ago now. Israeli forces, meanwhile, actively operating in southern Lebanon as we speak, working to knock out Hezbollah infrastructure and weapons caches that are near the Israeli border. We know that the Israeli Air Force has been conducting targeted strikes on the areas of Beirut. This has not been without cost, as the Israelis announced the names of eight of their troops who were killed in action while operating in southern Lebanon. And then, of course, there's the big conversation that is ongoing here at all levels of the Israeli government, including right at the top. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been having meetings with his top brass to discuss how they will respond to Iran's strikes, with the Israelis emphasizing their next move is coming. We will respond. We know how to locate important targets. We know how to strike with precision and power. We have the capabilities to reach and strike any point in the Middle East. And those of our enemies who have not yet understood this will soon understand. But there's strong rhetoric coming the other way as well, including from Tehran. This was a cabinet meeting being held by the president of Iran in which he said that if Israel hits them, they are prepared to hit back with force. That's why you have people all across the globe watching these coming hours and days here in the Middle East very intently. Mm -hmm. Marky. Robert Sherman, thanks so much. Live from Haifa this morning. And you can sign up for Robert Sherman's News Nation newsletter by scanning the QR code right here on your screen. Read his firsthand account covering the war in front lines with Robert Sherman. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.